Avastar mates. Welcome back to Zack and Wiki. Now, first things first, don't believe the advertising. This bridge is perfectly safe. This chest, however, is very hot. There seems to be some sort of tub or something here, which maybe we can fill with water, and maybe it'll do something about that chest. So let's go see about that. See? Solid as a rock. Well, hey, how about that? We have a handy item we can use to transport water. Then all we have to do is, you know, maybe fill it up a couple times and take it across the bridge. No big deal. Just gotta do that maybe three or four times or so, and it should be fine. Alright, I know what you're thinking. That bridge looks particularly unsafe. And let me tell you, that's just propaganda put out by the Frozen Temple. This bridge is 100% secure. Okay, let me rephrase that. The bridge is perfectly safe for three crossings, and no more than three. So we'll have to find out another way around to that, uh, to that device, rather than the, uh, huh, rather than the bridge. Do you like Simon Says? Because I don't, but I actually managed to get this one right on the first try, which is new for me. Getting the maximum number of points on that one will depend on you, uh... Will depend on you getting it right the first time. The more times you get it wrong, the less times the, uh, or the less number of directions pops up, but hey, you know, got it in one. <laughs> this is going to be the running theme for any of uh, the Rose Rock goons we find in the volcano. They're a little tuckered out. I mean, just because they're all tuckered out doesn't mean they aren't still of use. We can still grab a totem and use them to, uh, well... I mean, they fill all sorts of uses, like creating a handy-dandy bridge. I mean, those fireballs don't look too friendly. But while in human form, they're a bit, uh, you know, tuckered out, in totem form, they're just... they're pretty darn heat-resistant. Now, this fire looks a bit bigger than the other one we put out, so I think we'll have to do... Hmm, maybe get a bit more water to take care of that one. And really, what is a hard hat except for an upside down cup? Well, a large upside down cup. This hard hat's actually going to serve two purposes. One of them is to, uh, well, it's going to fill things up a little bit faster than that tiny goblet will.
with that bridge not being condemned, all we have to do is find another way up to the other side. Which should be simple enough. We're resourceful people. We do have an oddly conveniently shaped pedestal here. Kind of looks like a, uh, what you call it? Almost like a round bottom, like you might be able to fit some sort of a uh, totem or something in there. Oop, coin. So we've got this platform going back up, but the only way to get it to go up is to unweight the platform. All it requires is a little bit of lateral thinking. If you untotemize the goon, he'll shoot you straight back up. And with that, we can finally fill up this tank and be on our merry way. <laughs> That'll do it for this episode of Zack and Wiki. Please join me next time when we go for a swim in the Lake, the lake of Fire. Of fire.